So you keep playing League over and over every day and you suddenly realize it's been almost few months already since season 10 started. But you are still sitting in Nilo hell and praying for the old and new gods to give you better teammates to carry you to the holy diamond 4 you wanted to reach so hard at the start. If you feel like you're that guy or just doing something wrong but you don't really know why and what, hang out a bit, you might see something exciting today. What is up guys, my name is Winden and in today's video I will show you how to increase your win rate instantly no matter what role or elo you are playing. Before you freak out guys, I will answer it's not a clickbait video but my actual in-game experience I've been going through the last month that helped me get insta 15-20% to overall win rate and climb to diamond 2 from plat 3 in less than 2 weeks, right after I changed something. The most important part here that after going through it by myself, I actually learned some tricks how to make the better results even faster, so you guys could implement this method to your games with the best possible instant results. Before the plot, let me remind you that you can find me on Twitch, I'm streaming League almost every day, Eddie Carey in particular, so if you want to learn something new or just have a chill time, don't be shy, come and stream and say hi. You guys might be surprised but the real reason why my win rate goes so high compared to my month ago one is basically by changing the main champion I'm using in my games. On paper it actually sounds stupid. I swapped my best solo queue champion Kaelin, which I've played for more than 500 of games for sure and which by the way was the S tier AD carry during that moment. For a freaking tier 5 Kog'Maw I barely played 10 games during my whole league life. I also have to mention that these numbers based purely on solo queue gameplay and as some people might thought doesn't include duo queue with the Lulu support which could potentially increase my win rate even higher. Let's go straight to analytics and for the conclusions afterwards and discover what are the key parts here that actually instantly increase my win rate so you guys know how to implement it by yourself. Again guys, this video is not meant for AD carry players only but rather for all roles. Just try to adapt every key part to your own role using my example. So the first key moment that came with the champion change was a set of tools new champion could give me and the comparison to tools I had before. In my case, having a good time with Kaelin during laning phase swapped for a real struggle with Kog'Ma. But on the other hand, I get an opportunity to carry my games easier during any lone game thanks to better scaling feature Kog could provide me. Kaelin was better against squishes, but useless against tanks before you get at least 4 to 5 slots. Kog'Ma actually starts trading tanks with only one item. Basically, even though I was winning more laning phases with Kaelin, I actually couldn't secure my games often due to enemy top jungle, those beefy tanks with CC that tear me apart every time. But with Kog'Ma, surviving laning phase and getting to big 2 item power spike in most games almost guarantees the victory no matter how many tanks are in the enemy team. I really talk a lot about in my videos, but again guys, try to think about your champion as a tool to reach specific small targets in your games. So the second key moment that came with the champion change that actually increased my win rate was champion popularity. It might sound obvious for some of you, but how many times you actually played against Avern Jungle, against Rengar or Janna top lane, against Set as enemy support? What I'm trying to say here, by choosing to play the least popular and pickable champion, you can actually have easier games in general due to how unready are a lot of players playing against your pick. In my case example, playing Kaelin over and over even though she was the meta and strong champion overall, makes my games harder for me to play due to how always well prepared enemy bot lane is. Changing my pick to Kog'Ma which is by the way only 0.65% pick rate compared to Kaelin 20% at that specific moment made my games a bit easier because most of enemy bot lane players don't lane versus Kog'Ma a lot which gave me an opportunity to win some laning phases easier than it could be. The same idea was behind team fighting. Generally saying, Orns and Sats these days don't give a shit about AD carry damage output in team fights, which in my case was super handy for me as they keep overextend themselves without even thinking how much damage I can deal to them, giving up many team fights and many games overall. The last key moment that came with the champion change was basically an opportunity to get a bit of fresh air and play the opposite type of AD carry I non-stop tend to play. What I'm trying to say here, even if you found your perfect main and you can play 24-7, it is sometimes never a bad thing to change your routine and play the correctly the opposite stuff. It's not only clears your head and letting you learn new champions and grow as a player in general, 
but after learning other champions and understanding the way you play them and tools they can give you, you start respecting your main champion more, growing with the game knowledge even deeper. But before we make conclusions guys, I want to point out the crucial moments you have to make into account if you want to instantly increase your win rate with this method. Basically it is the things I wish I knew before swapping to other champion. So if you already decided to make a change in your league route and change a champion, the very first thing I suggest you to do is define the champion you want to play. That shouldn't include champion strengths or weaknesses or overall win rate. First of all, look for champions you are actually interested in or you see a lot of potential playing with but you actually never try to put a lot of time into. Second of all, after you found your new champion of choice, try to master it as fast as possible and play him only without swapping between other champions or still thinking about other options. Use OPGG, look for best counter picks and worst enemies to face, compare champion win rate to other meta champions. Must have tip here. Look for OPGG, Twitch or YouTube, challenger footage games, the best players out there on your champion. Basically try to look for the fastest way of learning new champion using the best runes and adapting items properly during your games. So what conclusions we can make here? First, if you really struggle with your games by playing only one champion, try to give a chance playing other champions, that in their core is different to your main champion. Again, mastering different champions means have access to different tools to win more games with, no matter what role or elo you are playing. Second, keep in mind champion popularity. Because most played champions are strong but people used to play against them. So don't be afraid to experiment a bit and maybe picking the weakest never meta champion would be the way for you to instantly increase your win rate. Third, basically changing your main can give you a lot of info and increase your game knowledge, making you a better player overall and having a bit of fresh air I would say. If you main only one champion and you're doing perfect in terms of fun and win rate, you could never know how the other champion playstyle could fit you even better, unless you try it. 4. If you're about to OTP new champion before you jump straight into the ranking games, learn the fish out of this champion. Use other players' knowledge who are already guided them and become really good in a fast way in order to maximize your win rate. And 5. Do not forget to have fun while playing. Make sure the champion you choose fun to play with no matter the game or team composition so you can actually one trick it properly, going into next games with new ideas for different builds, playstyles or team synergies. That is pretty much it for today guys. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And by the way, feel free to comment down below if you actually tried the same method before and if you do, how and when for you. I'm curious to know what is your champion of choice and how are you winning your games guys. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.